Some of you need to leave the tomb behind. You need to leave it behind. You need to walk away from it. You need to stop sitting vigil at the tomb of your past. You need to stop sitting there reading the memorial stone over and over and over and over of the losses of the past, of the pain of the past, the names of those who hurt you and wounded you and betrayed you and came against you and lied on you, written on a memorial stone at the edge of the tomb. It's time to leave the tomb behind. Come on. It's time to walk away from the tomb, to leave it be, to walk away. Jesus got up. He was in a tomb. He was dead. He was really dead. But he got up and he left the tomb behind. And when they came to, 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 to decorate his tomb and to deal with issues around his tomb, he wasn't there anymore because he left the past behind and he rose up. He ascended to the Father. You will not ascend. We will not ascend. I will not ascend if we don't leave the tomb behind. Come on. We all have a tomb. It's the place where we bury our wounds. We all have a tomb. It's the place where we hide our hurts from the world because we don't want anybody to know how much it really hurt us. We all have a tomb. It's the place of the past pain. It's the place where things in our life died. It's the place where discouragement lies. It's the place where disappointment lies. It's the place where depression lies. And every once in a while, if you don't leave the tomb behind, these things will resurrect themselves in your soul. Oh, you can press them down. You can try to bury these things. You can hide them away from the world. But if you don't walk away from the tomb, if you don't let it be, if you don't choose to say that is the past, I am free from that. I will not look back. I will not go back. These things that plagued you, these old memories on the memorial stone will rise up in your soul at an opportune time and derail your next level, derail your breakthrough, derail your life. It's time to leave the tomb behind. I wish I could get a witness. Oh, I wish I could get somebody to understand the words coming out of my mouth. It's time to leave the tomb behind, behind, behind behind the monument, the memories of the disappointments, the memories of the divorce, the memories of the failures in your life, the memories they are in the tomb. Go ahead and roll the stone over the mouth of that thing and walk away. Walk in your freedom. Christ died to set us free. God, help us to walk in the freedom that you died to give us. Oh God, help us Lord to walk away from the tomb, that cold place where we don't feel your presence, that cold place where the enemy roams like a roaring lion seeking to devour. He's lurking, he's watching, watch your demons watching our every move to find the best time to strike the death blow. When you hang out around a tomb, the spirit of death is hanging around with you, waiting to strike. When you hang around the tomb, the spirit of grief is lurking. When you hang around the tomb, the sorrow, the pain, the memories that you wish you could not remember, they begin to come back to life, gain new life. You're giving them new life. Walk away from the tomb. It's time to leave the tomb. God, help us, Lord. It's a cold place. It's extremely cold. That's why your love has grown cold, because you're hanging out in the tomb, in the cemetery. You're not just seeing your own problems from the past. You're seeing others who are also cold. You're seeing others who are also discouraged and depressed. You're seeing others who are also in bondage. It's extremely cold. It's extremely dark in the tomb. It's time to leave the tomb behind. It's time for you to stop dwelling in darkness and start dwelling in glory. It's time for you to stop dwelling in darkness and start dwelling in the Spirit of God moving in His power, His resurrection power. It lives on the inside of you. Christ in you, the hope of glory, the Spirit of God dwelling on the inside of you. The Spirit that raised Christ from the dead wants to raise you up again. But you got to stop hanging around the tomb. Come on, leave the tomb behind. Whatever your tomb is, leave it behind. Whatever the name is over the top of it, leave it behind. Leave your addictions there in the tomb. 
We are new creatures in Christ. The old things passed away. All things became new. You can't walk in the newness of life when you're hanging around in the tomb. Oh God, help us today to leave the tomb behind, to get the healing we need, to leave those things of the past in the past, to stop dredging them up, to stop. It's quiet in the tomb. Leave the tomb behind. It's quiet in the tomb. You're hanging around in the cemetery, you're hanging around in the catacombs, you don't hear God's voice. Everything's dead. God's not dead, He's surely alive. But when you're hanging around the dead, it's hard to hear words of life. It's quiet in the tomb, and not the, not the good kind of quiet, not the silence, the be still and know that I am God kind of quiet. The quiet where your own thoughts echo in your soul because you can't hear God. The quiet, the calm before the storm of the enemy comes into your life and brings back all the pain. Because if you'd have buried it alive, if you bury it alive, if you bury it alive, it's not dead. What you bury alive in the tomb, it's a slow, slow process. But it's not dead. You feel like you're dying on the inside. Some of you feel like you're dying on the inside. Some of you feel like you're dying on the inside. Leave the tomb behind. Leave it behind. Walk away. There is new life for you, but you won't find it in the tomb. There was a man in the Gadarenes, and he was cutting himself. He was hanging out in the cemetery. He was hanging out among the tombs, cutting himself. He had a legion of demons. Nobody to help him. Until Jesus crossed over and he saw him. And no devil in hell could keep that man from running to him, receiving his deliverance. Jesus cast those devils out. They went into a herd of swine. Now think about it. The herd of swine ran off and killed themselves in the ocean. This man, the demoniac in the Gadarenes, he withstood all that pressure hanging out in the tombs. He was cutting himself, but he didn't kill himself. There's some people listening to my voice today, and you're not physically cutting yourself, but you're parabolically cutting yourself. You're cutting yourself off from people who can help you. You're not cutting yourself a break, but you're cutting yourself with thoughts of condemnation. You've been hanging out in the tomb. And you feel like you're dying on the inside. But God is here today to set you free to another degree. You've got to press in. You've got to grab hold of the hope again. Leave the tomb behind, beloved. There's no hope in the tomb. There's only death. There's only decay. There's no hope among the tomb. Come out of that cemetery. Come out of that tomb. Leave it behind because freedom is just ahead. Freedom is as close as you want it to be because freedom has a name and his name is Jesus Christ. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. Father, help us to let you set us free. Help us, Lord, to escape the temptation to go back to the tomb, to go back to that memorial stone and meditate on what the enemy did in our life. Meditate on what the husband, on what the wife, on what the children, children did in our life. Meditate on these things that do not bring life, but bring death. God, help us, Lord, to walk away from the tomb. Help us, Lord, to leave the tomb behind today once and for all, and not go put flowers there once a year when the anniversary of the devastating life event, when the anniversary of the trauma rolls around, we go back to the tomb and we put flowers there and we pay our respects to the dead things in our life no more. Leave the tomb behind, beloved. It's time to leave the tomb behind. Leave it behind. Leave it behind. You can't get to the next destination God has for you when you continue returning to pay homage to your past at the tomb. Father, thank you today that you help us see, know and understand that you are ready, willing and able to deliver us from every tie that binds for your glory. 
to heal everything that hurts for your glory so that we can walk worthy of our calling. Your destiny is secure. 